Linux. It's relatively easy to do it in Windows, but I want to kind of show you how to do this in Linux because it's a little bit trickier. Instead of using the net use command in Windows, we're going to use the SMB client in um, in the Kali Linux operating system, which is part of Samba. SMB client Okay, and if you go ahead and get hit enter here, you'll be able to see uh, some of the parameters. So one of the things that I'm going to do is do an IP address. So I'm going to do a capital I for 192.168.92.131. Then I'm also going to add in the um, N, capital N, for no password. And then a capital U, no password is here. And then the capital U, which is hidden in here somewhere, the username and basically a null username. And I'm going to go ahead and do that and basically tweak this just a little bit until I get it correct. Now, in order to get this command to work, I have to add in one more component before I just do the SMB client to do my IP address and basically select no username and no password. I actually have to have the domain piece into this. So I'm going to go ahead and um, add in the R. In this case, my target is going to be vernet.com, and then I can do the null username and null password. And once I fix this with the dash L for the specific domain that's involved, then I can go ahead and run that against my target. And I'm going to scroll back up so you can exactly see what just flew by the screen. So I have my SMB client, the interface that I want to go to, the domain that I want to interrogate with no username and no password. And it says anonymous login successful. This tells me that my null session has executed. Also, what's realistically important here is the fact that I can see the remote inner process communication dollar sign. I can see net logon, certificate enrollment, which now you can jump for joy because you know the server is a certificate authority. The hidden administrative uh, dollar sign, the sysvol, which pretty much indicates that it's a, a active directory of some sort. And of course, the hidden C dollar sign. So the session request to um, 92.130 failed, called name not present. Not only do we have an anonymous login successful here, but we also have an anonymous login successful here. It verifies that our domain is correct, vernet. The operating system is win Windows 5.1, so it does an operating system guess, and it says that it's a Windows 2000 land manager. It also gives me the server name, some basic NetBIOS information, and the workgroup information there. Also the client that I interrogated uh, earlier. So, real easy way to basically do a null session if you know the proper command syntax. Practice because null sessions are one of the things that I notice students do all the time. It's real easy to do in class, but a month later they forget the exact syntax. More so, they definitely forget it on the Unix side because they know how to kind of work their way through the net use, but they stumble once you switch to Unix and then throw in the SMB client. Uh, but nonetheless, whatever your syntax is, if it's wrong, like let's say I got some uh, typos in here, don't forget that you, it's going to keep prompting you, so you just have to play around, get the right possible combinations in here, and then run it against your target and look for command completed successfully. So that's how to do a null session. My name is Leo Dreger. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter.